to the train station uh, eight kilometers out of main Chatargars train station and uh, we have to wait for our train for like 40 minutes more and this is the reality of real travelers <laughs> we have gas stove we made for us cup soup with some uh, rice uh, flakes so now we will have uh, like early dinner and after we will go to take a train because Indian food most of the cases too tough for us we don't like it because it's too spicy and after we have uh, problems oh, with our stomach so we better just make this simple camping food yes yeah and tea with this toast bread This is Beatles Ashram. Entry for foreigners cost 600 rupees. But we entered from the back side for free. We just crossed the gate. Abandoned place. This is exactly the place where Beatles stayed. Beatles accommodation. Puri complex. So not only Beatles stayed here, also my club, Donovan and Pharaoh sisters. So you can read here it's Beatles bungalow. On the roof there are meditation chambers. And here is written 84 caves. So now we came inside of meditation chambers. It's well known, many meditative yogis used caves for meditation to get total isolation. This is how they look, these chambers. I think it's the same in the end of the corridor. 
This is another type of meditation chambers. I had to switch on my flash because actually it's very dark. Very nice atmosphere and energy in this place. Unfortunately, it is abandoned. If I understood correctly, there are 84 of these chambers. Beatles Ashram has quiet and peaceful atmosphere. It's located on the hill next to Ganga River, but I don't know if there is access here to the beach, to the river. And the size of all territory in length is around 600 meters. These chambers, in the shape of egg, located on the roof of the dormitory. I saw these pictures in the internet and uh, I think it's very nice design. I guess all the purpose of these egg-shaped constructions are for meditation because when it has this kind of shape, energy concentrates in the right point, probably. It's just my hypothesis. Anand Bhavan and Siddhi Bhavan. Constructed in 1976, these buildings were used as a residential accommodation for the course participants becoming transcendental meditation teachers or undergoing other advanced training courses. That's why on the roof we have these uh, egg-shaped places for meditation, I think. With the blessings of his, his master Sri Brahmananda, made transcendental meditation popular worldwide and developed a scientific explanation of meditation and the yogi. So this is the spot to listen sounds of Ganga River. Manesh Yogi House. Everywhere you can see these nice paintings from different people. This is kind of complex of these types of uh, small houses. Uh, it looks, in my opinion, like a bee house, but it's a place for meditation. So this is how it looks inside.
this building called Viet Havan. Actually, second name is Paintings Hall. I guess these are Beatles members with Guru in the middle, the one who invited them in this ashram. All around Ashram's territory you can find these nice buildings. So pity this place is abandoned. It's a really cool place. This is Beatles room inside and here gallery with uh, photos of Beatles visit to India, 1968. So Beatles came with their families to India. And here were all the few songs which became very famous afterwards. now it's because I want to swim to bath in the holy river Ganga. In Rishikesh it's more or less clear. It has brown color because the water comes from the mountains and this time of year in July the water is high. Across the river exactly on this hill ashram of beetles. And actually water in Ganga is quite cold so you cannot really enjoy swimming here. Even in the daytime it's hot but the water is always cold. And many people actually take bath in Ganga. Also in the evening you can see a lot of pujas and I think we also saw some uh, ritual fires. Maybe we also burned dead bodies like in Varanasi here. But I'm not sure about that. For the second time in my life I'm taking a bath. I'm swimming in the holy river Ganga. The first time when I uh, put my feet in Ganga river it was in Nepal, in Muktinath, and the tributarian of Ganga. And now in Rishikesh. I wouldn't say the water is extremely cold, it's just chill, but it's, it's a pleasant to swim here. And here at the bottom I feel sad, not beton. <laughs> and this guy is living already for a long time. So where I stand, the depth is like this. And the Beatles ashram just across to the opposite side. and bad karma will be gone. <laughs>is half past 4 a.m. <laughs> between night and morning and I'm walking six kilometers to the train station. I will take a train to Delhi. My last train in India in this trip. And still some people outside on the street. Yeah. It was my last train in this trip around India. Sleeper class coach. I 
I was going here six hours and twenty minutes from Rishikesh to Delhi. And unusually for India, the train was in time. So now I arrived to Delhi. This train didn't have uh, second class, so I just went to sleeper class. And the train wasn't full most of the time, only the station before Delhi, uh, more people came. And uh, no one asked me about ticket. So now I will go to pack my stuff to prepare for my way back home. As usually, the metro in Delhi is pleasant. I always go to women's only uh, coach, and it's not many people, not crowded, clean, and quite modern, and easy to navigate. I never had any problems to understand how to get to any specific station, and it's not expensive.